Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Dorothy Stratton. I love doing the Babe of the Day video series, and if you've been watching me for a while, you know how I don't like to bring up drama in my videos. Unfortunately, when it comes to Dorothy Stratton, you can't avoid it. She wasn't around long enough to be remembered for much else. This blonde Canadian beauty was really outstanding. I think she would have had a great life and career ahead of her. Sadly, she died at the age of only 20, a victim of murder by the hand of her estranged husband, Paul Snyder. When she was 18, she moved to Los Angeles. Her last name was actually Hoog Stratton, but she sorted it and added an extra T. Very quickly, she was chosen as a finalist for the 25th anniversary Great Playmate Hunt for Playboy magazine. She became Miss August of 1979 and began working as a bunny at the Playboy Club in Century City. Hugh Hefner, the founder of Playboy magazine, held Dorothy in high regard and believed she would have had great crossover success as an actress. It did not take her long to get into TV and movies. In June of 1979, before her pictorial came out in Playboy, she married Paul Snyder. Paul was the kind of guy who rubbed everyone the wrong way. People thought he was scary, and Dorothy was warned by everyone about him, including Hef himself. In late 1979, she appeared in an episode of Buck Rogers and an episode of Fantasy Island. That same year, she also had supporting roles in the comedy movies Americathon and Skate Town USA. Dorothy even got a lead role in the bizarre exploitation movie Autumn Born, also in 1979. Autumn Born is a weird movie that doesn't make a lot of sense, but Dorothy is hot in it. She is truly the only interesting thing about that movie. Hugh Hefner was right about Dorothy's crossover success. It all came very quick for her. Dorothy, after all, was a knockout, and she did have a charming personality. I do think she would have improved as an actress, but she was real young and just starting out. Dorothy was then the lead in the sci-fi comedy film Galaxina, where she played a sexy android. It would be released shortly before she died, but it was filmed well before that. In March of 1980, Dorothy went to New York to film what became her last movie, the comedy film They All Laughed. This would be the first and only time that Dorothy would have a substantial role in a big budget picture. She played the unhappily married love interest of John Ritter. Peter Bogdanovich, who wrote and directed the movie, would later say that he based the story of Dorothy's character on what he knew about her marriage to Paul Snyder. Peter and Dorothy started having an affair during the production of the movie. Her marriage to Paul was already pretty dysfunctional and incredibly strained. Paul just refused to act right. Dorothy was the star, but he somehow thought he had power over her and her career. He was almost constantly nearby, and it drove everyone nuts, including Dorothy. He tried acting as her chauffeur, bodyguard, manager, and acting coach, but he was really nobody. Paul had a way of sending up red flags to people like no one else. In April... Dorothy briefly returned to L.A. because she had been selected as Playmate of the Year. She had to get ready for all the publicity stuff that went along with the honor. She had to return to New York to finish the movie after this, so it would be the last time she stayed in the same house with her husband. On April 30th, she was the guest of honor at a luncheon at the Playboy Mansion. She was presented to the press as the Playmate of the Year for 1980. It was quite an affair, and everything went well. Dorothy was truly having the night of her life. Later that evening, she made a memorable guest appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Things just couldn't get better than this, and it all happened in such a short period of time, less than a year. The extent of what Paul did to Dorothy was pretty wild. He got increasingly more controlling and even stole her money. He did a lot of creepy things, like hiring a private detective to spy on Dorothy who was having an affair with Peter Bogdanovich, but Paul drove her to it, definitely. Paul was a real monster, and he had no qualms about making their fights public for all to see. 
Dorothy went to great lengths to keep herself away from Paul and to keep him out of her professional life. She was working on divorcing Paul. It was a bad decision for her to meet with him in private, but that's what she did. Dorothy went to a house Paul had been renting. The meeting was supposed to settle the divorce. Instead, on August 14, 1980, Paul killed Dorothy with a single shotgun blast, then killed himself. It was a major news event and talked about all over the place. She had such a quick and promising rise to fame in such a short period of time, only to die in such a weird and violent manner. It definitely overshadowed all her other accomplishments. As you can imagine, Dorothy got more famous after her death in a way she never would have wanted. Her last movie, They All Laughed, was released in 1981, a year after her death. Despite the notoriety of her death, the movie was not a success. Bogdanovich sank a lot of money to try to make the movie a hit, but it never did take off. It would seem a lot of people were more interested in the dirt. There was a TV movie made about her tragic life in 1981, starring Jamie Lee Curtis. In 1983, a feature film about Dorothy, called Star 80, was released and featured Mariel Hemingway. In 1984, Peter Bogdanovich wrote a biography about Dorothy and caused quite a bit of controversy as he made accusations at Hugh Hefner in Playboy magazine. Sadly, in the years since then, her name has come up quite a bit in all forms of media, always referring to her tragic death. The object of my video is not to celebrate Dorothy's tragedy, but her great beauty and promising talent that would never be fulfilled. Dorothy made a lot of bad personal choices, but she deserved better than what she got. And people need to focus more on what she actually did and not what was done to her. Check out her appearances in Playboy. Watch her TV shows and movies. Dorothy's work was all very positive. And I'm happy to give her one more credit. Babe of the day. Babe of the day. <laughs>